It's the alpha animal of the GT stable. In just eight words Andreas Pruninger, the man responsible for the creation of Porsche's surgically precise 911 GT3 and the feisty Cayman GT4, neatly sums up the staggering new 911 GT2 RS. In just one full throttle run, riding a Saturn V surge of raw, unrelenting thrust as we satches 700 HP weapon streaks past 60 miles per hour in 2.7 seconds, 124 miles per hour in 8.3 seconds, and 186 miles per hour in 22.1 seconds, en route to an electronically limited at top speed of 211 miles per hour, obliterates any doubt, the GT2 RS is the ultimate 911. The new GT2 RS is an intoxicating mixture of tradition and technology, defined by the brawny twin-turbo 3.8-liter flat-six nestled under its Buing rump. The tradition is in the concept, a turbocharged, high-horsepower, two-wheel drive 911 that recalls the spirits of the fearsome 930 of the late 1970s and builds on the reputation of the formidable 2010 GT2 RS. The technology is in the execution. The 2018 GT2 RS is the distillation of everything the best and the brightest engineers at Porsche's Wiesach R&D headquarters know about making their iconic sports car go fast. Pruninger freely admits the GT2 RS turbocharged engine lacks the exquisite throttle response of the naturally aspirated, 500 HP, 4.0 liter flat 6 in the GT3 RS. But, he says, that's the whole point of the car. It's about having an old-school turbo engine with a little lag, and a sound that is typically turbo. It's also about delivering a different kind of 911 performance, on and off the track. In a GT3 you have the work through the gears, wait for your moment to overtake, but in the GT2 RS you just push the accelerator and go, no matter which gear you're in. The acceleration beyond 120 miles per hour cannot be matched by a naturally aspirated engine. Right double quotation mark.